Hi guys, the Rugby Guru here and today we're doing another fan requested video. It is the Crusaders versus the Islanders at the Orange Theory Stadium. And I will be playing as the Crusaders. Let's go and have a look at the team lineups. It's Joe Moody up against Daniel Leonard Brown, Taylor versus Goldman, Alala Tua versus Tokalai, Barrett versus Parry Parkinson. Whitelock up against Wetton, Sanders, Lanches, uh, Christie Hunt, Wetu Douglas with Shannon Frizzell, um, Brian Hall, Aaron Smith, Mohanga, Gatland, Bridge, Mackay, Havili, Tomkinson, Kudu, Thompson, Sabre Reese, Kurandrani, and Will Jordan against Josh Yuwani interesting to see that some of these guys are playing out of position there's the benches i'm not going to go through that as well you can quickly have a look this is the first um super rugby aturua game uh, that i'm doing on the ps uh, 4 for rugby challenge 4 we'll be playing on pro and using the side line camera so let's see if this Crusaders team is as good in the game as they are in real life. Ooh, a very early turnover ball. Oops, intercepted there by the Highlanders. So trouble early on. Just to remind you guys, my sliders has also been um adjusted the attacking urgency has been maxed so that the ai can have a good attacking game Ooh. and um i also disabled the forward passes because it is something that gets overused in the game um, another one is the high tackle rate in this game is extremely high. I even um, moved down the sliders for that as well. And for some reason, it just doesn't want to go down. Right, so now the Highland is on the attack. Um, let's see what we can do as far as the defense goes so there's a little bit of space on the outside we could have a turnover yes we have why the hell did he pass to the left I can't remember that I pressed the left um, button to go for a left past so I don't know maybe I should just try and ease down on the excitement here and there's another freaking eye tackle I'm going to start using the X for the tackles which is less effective than the than the triangle tackles but um, the moment it's just incredible how many high tackles they are so Josh Uwani has put the Highlanders into the lead by three points to nil 18 minutes gone oh nicely taken there and now the Crusaders is going to score an easy try well that was quite simple if I can get the possession I might be able to score some more good try George Bridge oh just simply quick hands through the back line that led to this try right so the Crusaders take the lead 20 minutes in and oh, this could be missed 
No, it's going to go through. So seven points to three. Crusaders over the Highlanders. It's not looking too bad at the moment. Oh, Muanga. Oh, don't tell me he's gone. Well, that was just way too easy. Dear, oh dear. Twin Crusaders. Just passing through the hands and gone. I have noticed that they bring in the fullback quite a lot into the game, which um, does create a scenario where there's no fullback at the back when there's a turnover, and that basically leads to tries like these. 27 minutes gone, Crusaders 14, the Highlanders 3. Let's see if we can do a set play. Probably not the best area to do set plays at the moment. But I do like the set play and it worked out perfectly yet again. Let's give it to Goodyear. So the, high, the Crusaders are going rampant at the moment. Pretty good try, I must say. Little dab ahead, beautifully taken by Jordan. And George Bridge is gone. And then he just being very friendly with Goodyear and passes back to him. So it does look like the Crusaders are going to run away with this game. 21 free after 33 minutes. More quick hands and Sever Reese. Oh no, man, this is ridiculous. I'm going to use the opportunity in this video to showcase actually how easy it is to to win with a strong team against a weaker team. Um, there's games that's really um, competitive, but this isn't one of them, unfortunately. This is not one of them. They did say they improved the, the AI formations and and positioning, but going going from this doesn't look like it, unfortunately. So 28 points to three, 37 or 38 minutes gone. And what started off as a really difficult game has turned into quite an easy game. Oh, and even more space. Come on. This is too easy. Well, another set play worked to perfection. Yeah, did look pretty good. The only thing that I don't like about the set plays is that it's very um, easy to to do. If you basically can just get your positioning right on the field or your scenario to do it, then it's quite easy to execute because the AI does most of the job for you. So half time score 35 points to 3. Goodness gracious. 
Second half is underway. So let's play a more a conservative game. Oh, that's not going to work. Let's try some more defense. Let's see if the Highlanders can break my defense. So they're making progress, but still some work to do here. Thompson gets his man. Not going to happen. Shut down with a brutal tackle. Gets it off to the support. There's an intercept. That'll knock the wind out of him. He needs to be more careful about oh, that's Intercepted. Now, good defense. Ooh, big tackle there from Whitelock. Still not managing to turn it over. Now, this is going to be a turnover. There we go. Avili to Goodyear, come on. Here's a little dab ahead. Works well. Let's go with another set play. This time let's go with that one. Now, a little bit isolated Cody Taylor there. Oh, well done. Ah, just stepped out there. Starting to get used to the sideline camera quite well. I might even consider playing online with the sideline camera, depending on how the opposition will be. A knock on there by the Highlanders and another opportunity here for the Crusaders. Knocked on by the Highlands, so there was no advantage there. Let's see. Can we do set play here? I think I'm feeling cheeky for a cross kick. Let's see if it works. It is supposed to be the easiest set play in the game and that's why. Perfectly executed cross kick try. Severis. Let's see how that went on the replay. Pretty good. Nicely done. Beautiful try. So, 64 minutes gone. Crusaders leading comfortably by 42 points to 3. Right. Only 14 minutes left of this game. Let's see. Oh. Well defended there. And it seems like we could have... No. We still have possession. Mohanga Jordan joined the line again as you guys can see there. Ooh, loose pass. Crusaders running from their own line. The only team with license to do it. Oh. 
Long pass out to Severis who knocks it on. Okay, so some changes to the Highlanders team with five minutes left to go. 42 points to three it is. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is only the second scrum of the game. Can the Highlanders score a try? They're doing a set play. That didn't go so well for them. Ooh. Well, that was well done. But they will they get the last try of the game? So this is the first time that I'm getting a TMO decision, much like Rugby Challenge freeze TMO uh, decisions. A try that was supposed to be quite um, easy. Ah, oh, that's just awesome. The water boy or the security guy just blocking the view there. Oh, come on, guys. Surely, let's just find out. No try. And that's going to be the end of the game because the ball was held up. Unfortunately, we couldn't see that. So, a convincing victory for the Crusaders. Showcasing their strength in rugby challenge 4 as well. Right guys, until next time, this is the Rugby Guru, just for now.